Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad Fury 333 and we are still at the Ring City. There are still a lot of archers being thrown at me, and I think I'm going to deal with them in a fairly straightforward way. Don't recall if there's anything behind here, though. I feel like there was at some point, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to think I'm wrong. You know what? I kind of don't care, because what will happen, you see, is that I'll get past these archers that are being summoned by the Judicator over there. Once I do so, then I can just roam here freely. Basically, it's just the one enemy. All I have to do... Oh, actually, not quite the one enemy. There's a couple more enemies than that. But, you know, once I get rid of the Judicator, I get rid of the archers. Once I get rid of the archers, then I don't have to worry about much else. Except you. Oh, you're going to fall to your death, aren't you? No, you're not. All in true... Well, I mean, you're, you are once I hit you. No, you're not! Hey! I think Invisible Wall? I don't want to chest it. But anyway, the point is... I can come through here. Actually, you know what? Can I? Good question. Do spook at hidden body and completely avoid being noticed? Will Adjudicator not see me until it's too late? Or will it run out before I go with this ladder, which I think it actually will. And the answer is... Well, the skeletons can see me no matter what. The Judicator can see me no matter what either. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. 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 Ow! Okay. Forgot about that. I guess three arrows, and then I can go ham. Ow! What? Okay, this is less good than I thought. Okay, hammer bro. Not really all that relevant. Yeah. Just kill him. Okay. Another hammer. Yes, another hammer. I can deal with hammer. Hammers. Ow! How do I go through them? Okay, whatever. Almost dead. Dead. Judicator's done. First try. Awesome. Now, other than the couple of skeletons, all I have to do is just go through this area. Yeah, when you don't know how to actually get through this, this area is extremely difficult because you're basically fighting arch like waves upon waves of archers trying desperately to find some kind of path in between them and then hoping for the best that you're actually going to be able to get damage in. But, of course, you can't fight them because they just vanish because they're just an attack. However, once you know what to do, then this area becomes really trivialized just as a result of knowing you can get at the adjudicator and fight him pretty easily. That being said, this area is pretty well designed, even if you don't know that, because you can at least get most of the way through just by being careful. That being said, there are all the gravestones. Those gravestones are good cover. So you can go grave hop, gravestone to gravestone, and then once you get near the end, you have to fight these things. But, you know, other than that, it's really not a big deal. All you have to do is like fight them. They're fairly simple. The main problem is that you're fighting them with the archers on top of you. And after that point, yeah, you just end up here, and then either you notice there's something down here and you take that path all the way through, or you just run and hope for the best, at which point you're probably going to die. But if you don't die, then you might end up down here. And if you end up down here, things will still be summoned to get you, but it's not as bad. It's usually hammers or the spellcasters. Either way, it's something you can deal with just by not staying still. Whereas the archers are more a question of just being kind of fortunate with how you set things up. Because that is tough. But anyway, that being taken care of, we can continue along. And this area here, it's going to get trickier. Because that's the first Judicator. It's one of the hardest ones to deal with, but it is still Many the first. Are by the fire, forsaken. Oh yeah, this guy. I speak of thine kind and mine. Behold this city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend. And let the feast and let begin. The feast yeah. begin. I don't like you. At all. Ah. Yes. The locusts yes, are an absolute pain now. in the butt. Let I don't like them. The feast begin. Let the feast begin. In the slightest. 
I mean, they start attacking you unprovoked later on, but you know what? To hell with them. I do not like you. You locusts. Alright, well, with that guy taken care of, I'm... Wow, actually, kind of surprised I was as violent there as I was. What the... What are you doing? You're just... You're, you're shoving me. Haven't, didn't you learn shoving is rude? You should have learned that in school. I mean, cutting people with knives... No one ever said that was rude. I mean, granted, if you did that, it was usually much bigger problems, but still... Th this is fine. You know, putting a knife in someone's back is totally professional behavior... But shoving them, that is beyond the pale. I imagine we're going to have more of that as well going forward. In fact, I know that we will. Because these people are very rude. And very existent. Except you. Can I knock you off the edge? Eventually, yes. But you're already dead before I did. So, bit of a shame. Oh, hey. It's a thing. Uh, it's a guy. Ow! Oh, right, they shoot lightning bolts. I forgot those actually went out beyond them. Yeah! Okay, there we go. That you're gonna kill me just because there were two of you. Well, you're wrong. Now, I gotta be honest, the last time I came here, my character was a character that needed purging stones. They had, they had the hollowing when they died, which was, of course, a pain in the butt. But this character doesn't really care. Curses do come up. There are curse enemies in this level, which means, obviously, Purging Stones can be of some use. But it's not the same as having Hollowing. Also, do I have... I don't have them equipped. I don't need this, I don't think. Might as well have the Purging Stones just in case. I don't recall any particular need for... Oh, hey. Forgot about you. But I don't recall any particular need for the... What the... You jerk. Anyway, I don't recall any particular need for poison or anything that reduces poison. That I don't think actually was a thing. Ah, there's the curse. First curse guy. Everyone with these crystals on their backs. They do curse. And the reason for the purging stones would be to get through this area faster. Not because you have to. Just, you know, you don't spend as much time waiting around for the curse to go away. And there should be a second one for curse. I recall there being something like that Ah, there you are. And there's one that drops off the ceiling as well, which, you know, went behind me. So, there you go. But otherwise, there we go. Curse is done. And now there's a big ringed knight, which we haven't seen much of. But they do exist, and they're a pain in the butt. Actually, to that end. Magic weapon. Then prepare to parry. If I get this, it's going to be awesome. If I don't get this, it's going to hurt. Yeah! Ow! It hurts! It really hurts! Oh, it burns! Ah! Well, hopefully my magic burns just as badly! Yeah! Eat that! Ow! Ah, I forgot how long I gotta wait to parry. Or not, actually, we should have far in advance I have to parry. Like that! There we go! That's what I wanted in the first place, and that's what I finally get! Three S's last later. But hey, I got it eventually. Jerk. And more cursed crystals. Yeah, yeah, ha! Eat my crystals. I got none of shit. Well, anyway. That's about it for these guys, but there's actually a bit more. This, er this entire area is a complete obstacle course. Because, now I get through these, the... What the heck are these things, even? Weird robed reg things. But then I move on to the turtle monks. Which do loads of miracles. And you gotta be careful, because their main miracle is one that makes the area you're standing on become pain. I guess the second one is kind of healing. Oh, shoot. I just realized, before when I was playing this last time, I actually had more tools. Because I had heavier weapons that helped deal with their annoying turtle shells. I'm not sure how to deal with those great swords. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just do it fast. That's how you do it. Yeah, because the last... Uh, going through it with a great sword, you just smack them a couple times and they'll pop open. 
But without that, it's a bit harder. But you know, a couple good strong attacks. A couple strong attacks, a couple regular attacks. Should do it in time. Of course, the problem is they still exist. And they're still a pain in the butt. Can I stab you? No, because that's the point of the turtle shell. Oh, I can outdo them. Well, that's cool. Still, you're not the only ones available to kill, so I'll just kill this one instead. When I have the chance, because I do. And the pattern works. Okay. So I can do it that way. Heavy, light, light, heavy. That does the trick. And now this thing, if I drop down here, that gets me to the middle section. If I go for the jump, there we go. And that means I can do heavy. Yeah, so I thought it was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so a couple good heavy attacks with the curved swords will at least do them in. However, uh, down there, on top of the fact that there is still one of those turtle monks alive, there is also going to be a a pair of ring knights, if I recall. Definitely one, possibly two. I don't actually remember. Okay, I haven't much choice then. Hope for the best. Get rid of these jerks if I can. Okay, cool. So, we've established that Ring Knights can be dealt with, but that's a Spear Ring Knight. We've established before that I have a hard time dealing with spears using parrying daggers. I say that. I mean, I say that, and then that happens. But, no, historically, I have had a hard time dealing with spears with parrying daggers. Ah, oh, whatever. Ow! I don't think I can parry that. Hey, your fire's gone! How about that? Ah! Got you now. Oh, no, I don't. I'm far from got you. Ah! I've got you now! But it's stabbing the back and healing for me. Alright. That was less painful than I thought it would be. Gotta be honest, I was rather afraid of this area. And even then, I'm still not done yet. Nowhere near. In fact, I've only just half started. There is a bonfire fairly close by, but it's only close by in relative terms, and even then, there's still a lot to deal with in the meantime. Ow! Shoot. Okay, if I get them all in front of me, that's good. Aha! Okay. I ran into that. I had no reason to get hit by that, but I did. If I could remember where the heck that bonfire was... Not up there. I need to talk. There's a person up there I want to talk to, but that's not where I need to go. It's not quite at the base. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. I remember exactly where it is now, actually. And if I play this right, I should be able to at least stab one of these Herald Knights in the head on the way down. Or not. Nope. Nope. It's having none of it. Oh, crap. Ah, shit, I knew it was going to happen. I I rolled too early. All right, souls retrieved. I should be able to get to the bonfire in a sec. Another one of these locusts, but I don't need to fight it. Just need to get to the bonfire. Once that's done, then we can continue. I just need to have a place to work from in order to make that happen. All right, there we go. <sighs> Pain in the butt. All right, so now we're down here in the lower section of the Ring City, which actually emphasizes the point I was making... I think the last episode I mentioned something about how the Ring City had a bit of a lie regarding time of day. I mean, it's more that it's just weird in time in general. So, yeah. It's dark down here, light up there, and it's not just shadows. It's just darker down here. If you look from above, you actually don't even see the abyss here at all, like the big swampy mire there. That's not even there if you look at it from above. It looks normal from above. It's very strange. But anyway, now that we're here, we can start to explore a bit. This area is, I mean, it's full of the Herald Knights, obviously. And there are some bits up there I didn't get to. 
And naturally, Herald Knights are also enemies that are fairly easy to deal with using some, well, some tricks. Well, gotta be careful with that guy. But yeah, Herald Knights are tricky because they are, like, you can hit them from above, which is really nice. But you can't, ow, damn it. I think I hit you on that ladder. I can't deal with this anymore. I used to cheese this by just going on the ladder and they didn't hit up the ladder, but I don't think that's an option anymore. I hate these enemies. I can't fight them. I can't kill, like, I can't get past them. How the hell do I deal with these things? Maybe I can just hide. I, I can fight them, but it takes too long. How do they know where I am? Ugh. How am I supposed to get up that ladder? Okay, good. They've stopped caring. They've stopped knowing where I am. I guess they couldn't hit me anymore. Because, yeah, they, they will hit me on this ladder, and that could be fatal if I'm high up the ladder. Used to be it didn't work. They, the game got patched, so it does. Now I don't know how to deal with that. Met the dark with Lee, oh, you. But in the I don't care. You don't give me anything for it, as far as I know. Alright, so this area here is a bit... Actually, there's a few areas here I can go through. Well, some spots I missed earlier. I wanted to get up through here so I could get them a little more easily. So, this up here is... Oh, actually, I think there's a house ramp here. I'll go through here first. Because there's a couple other areas around the back that I need to get to that get other items and other enemies, but start with here. And do the Lido shuffle. Oh, wait, I gotta heal up. Crap. Oh, yeah, this guy. I just remembered this guy's actually a pain in the butt. What if I can hit body my way through it? No, I can't. Not. Ow, not if I get hit. Knows where I am. Okay, so this one, if I recall correctly, if you get hit at all, you get comboed, and quite frankly, I don't know how I'm supposed to get in to even hit you in the first place, you jerk. Okay, so if I get that far, I can at least get a bit of damage in. Nope. Why can't I hit you? Okay, that's good. That's not a move that's gonna... Ow! See, that's what I mean. If I... Wow, I actually survived that. With, if you don't have enough HP, that will combo you, and that combo will be fatal. It's just... Ugh. Man, you're annoying. I don't think I can do this. I was thinking to try, because I can't give up. Because giving up would be wrong. But I, I can't do it. Not without more Estus, at least. Alright, let's try you again. Wait, one more thing. I have the quick step. I can do stuff like this. Ow, or not. Because you have a giant hammer and I can't deal with that easily. Uh, why is poison a thing? Okay, well, you're... I hate giant swings. Why must everyone have giant swing attacks? Same problem I had last episode of the PvP or... It brings us giant swing attacks to hit people even though I can't... Aim. Just dodge that. Or dodge around it or swing around it or whatever else. Like, I don't know. It's like daggers are not supposed to exist or something. Ah! Sheesh, I'm just lucky I can survive that combo. Although I gotta stay full up if I want to, but yes, I can survive that combo. Ah, I didn't get the backstab, seriously? I needed that backstab. Well, at least I can combo you to death, or try. Ah, ah, no, no, no backstab for me. Aha, there we go. That's what the quick step does. All right, two tries, not so bad. Remembered quick step was a thing, and remember that's why I like using this build. Why daggers are useful. Because they can dodge. Super easy. Although, wow, I'm getting really low on magic. Let's get that 
sort it out so I can actually, you know, do more dodging. Now, was Havel's Ring here? No, Titanite Chunk was here, but I think, if I recall correctly, there's actually a series of small ledges that can be back down from here. Because I can't go down here by the path I took in. That is impossible. That kind of would require that this game had vaulting of ledges, which it does not. So, in the meantime, I can drop down here. And I believe... I can't remember which one it is. I can't see it from here. I'm pretty sure Havel's Ring plus three is on here. I just don't have any sight of it. Ha! There we are! Havel's Ring plus three! I get slightly more gear. Or slightly better gear. Actually, come to think of it. How much better gear can I get? Because this is going to be interesting. Well, for now, let's go with Pond of Night Leggings and then work out from there what else I can do. Pond of Night Leggings are pretty good. All right! Slightly better gear handling. Yeah, for the, those of you not familiar, there's actually a couple things. First, every New Game Plus level gives you plus one, plus two rings. And the Ring City gives you plus three rings of all the rings that showed up in the original Dark Souls. If it wasn't in the original Dark Souls, you won't see it here. But if it was, then yeah, you get a plus three of it. So I'll get a plus three Steel Protection, plus three Havels I just got. There's going to be plus three of... Oh, what was it? It's like plus three Flame Stone Plate. All the Stone Plate rings get plus three. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, and another one of you big guys. Yeah! 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 Oh, you have to jump. That's fine. I'll kill you when you land. Jump on my watch, will ya? Actually, come to think of it, how many souls do I have? Oh! I'm gonna go use them. I have plenty to level up with. Hmm, so at this point I'm feeling like going up to where the Herald Knights show up. Just because there's stuff here. It's actually an, another invader. We have to fight around here. Actually, Alva, who, who we've seen before, does show up here again. What? Seriously? Actually, I think if I get away from... No, I can't. There's no getting away from here. Okay, fight you then. You just signed your own death warrant. And now the Herald Knights are coming in. So, maybe not. Ah, how do I not get killed here? Okay, that's how I not get killed here. What? That's not how I go through? Ah! Where is that path? There is that path! Found you. No, wait, this is the way I came in. What? Oh, right, it's up the bridge. Shoot. Now I remember where I've got to go. Ow. To the bridge! Or, eventually to the bridge. First here. Tiny chunk. And the bridge... Oh, I'm dead. If I'm lucky I won't get cursed, I'll just die. Or, I won't die. That also is good. I can live with that. Am I being chased? I am being chased. Okay. Whoever's chasing me... Need to kill them first. And make sure nobody else is chasing me because there's a ring knight in there and I don't want to be fighting a ring knight while also dealing with a bunch of other people chasing me. There should be only the one, though. This one. Ah! Darn it, you're always faster than I expect. Quit doing that. Ow! Whoops, I got that. Or slower. Why must the timing always be inconsistent? Man, it's like there's like three different possible timings for attacks from enemies in this game. And it like, good luck guessing which one any given one is when you see it. But at the very least, sometimes you get that luck and then you go. And you go pretty far, actually. Oh, right, this isn't Bloodborne. What am I trying to do heavy attacks in the back for? Those of you not familiar, that's how you chain backstabs in Bloodborne. Heavy, charged heavy attack to their back as they stand up. However, this isn't Bloodborne, so I could just do a backstab. I just do a light attack to the back. That's that's all I need. So, there we go. Secret that's burned. Oops, I don't know. I need to... Let me get my controls mixed up here. All right, if I recall correctly, Alva's kind of tricky to parry. I'm not sure I want to bother. 
I think I just want to do this. All day, every day. Just cut you with... With double attacks. Ow. Darn, I could have dodged through that. Ah! I mean, it was a bit... I remember being hard in Irithal Dungeon. But here I'm not so sure it's actually going to be a challenge. Other than the fact that I'm running out of stamina. Annoyingly. Am I back on stamina? Alright, cool. We're good. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, or not. Yeah. Ow! Well, I'll get you eventually. Ow. I will get you eventually. Probably this life. Maybe the next one. Probably the next one, actually, this right. Yeah, definitely in the next one. I got careless. Damn it. I hate when things take more time than is strictly necessary. All right, let's deal with you. Ow. Again, let's try let's try dealing with Alva again. This time with exactly as much Estus, but fewer souls right at the start. There you are. Wow, I'd like to have locked on to you. Why can't you lock on game? There we go. Ah. Yeah. I want you dead. There we go. You're not dead, but you're closer. Darn it, why did I think that wouldn't hit me? Like, come on. It's obvious it's gonna hit me. I dodged into that. What was I thinking? Come on. Let's not die again. Ah. ah, there we go. Just need to hit you a few more times. What? I don't need to roll there. That was a bad read. Come on, I just need to get in on you. And... Ah, not quite. Ah, ah, there we go. You rolled into my attacks that time. And I get a wolf ring plus three. Which I believe is poise. I keep thinking it's poise. And... I think that because I'm correct. It is poise. I apparently have never gotten the original wolf ring either. And Black Witch stuff, which I don't really need, but hey, cool. I'm not planning to go for the Black Witch set. I was considering it really early on before I started the entire run, but... Nah. I'm really liking the Brass Armor. I feel like it's me. Like, yeah, I had the Cellsaur stuff at first, but... I feel like the Brass Armor fits. Now the hard part is getting down from here. Oh, the entire world reset. Cool. Uh, I don't really feel like dealing with the Herald Knights yet. Not sure if I have much choice, but I don't really feel like it, for sure. I mean, unless I can find a way to chop on their heads, like so? Oh, what? Oh, darn it. Well, that's not going to work. But we saw earlier, if I drop on one of these things' heads, I'm good. I am solid. Everything is going to work out in my favor. Ow! If I don't drop on their heads, then I'm just screwed. Like, good luck ever doing anything to them. Or I could just run far enough away they can't hit me with their swings. You know, either way. Works for me. Alright. Well, that's been dealt with. Eh, there's a bunch of tiny locusts. I don't really get why the locusts were a thing. Like... They weren't really a thing ever before in anything. They just sort of came out of nowhere. Ow, what the? Oh, that's why. <clears throat> I was not in dual wield mode. Or I was in dual wield mode and stopped being in dual wield mode. Oh, interesting. The little... Ah! No! Oh, darn it. I was trying to make a comment about the fact that you had little locusts here because their, their preacher was here. Didn't need your... Oh, crap. Hey. 
All right, fine. Little locusts want to die. Little locusts get to die. Ah. Oh, come on. There we go. No, you won't! Oh, there's three of you now. I don't know how to deal with all this. At once... I guess carefully and with patience, but I have neither of the... But I'm neither careful nor patient. So, it doesn't help me any. Ah. This is a job for a ranged weapon, I think. Yep. Oh, that's hardly at all damaging. Okay, there's another option, which is to use the... Well, where is it? Soul Arrow. Also not a great option. That's just perfect. How would you... How do you fare against this kind of attack? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it hits more often. That's for sure. Doesn't matter if they go in the air, they're still kind of dead. Wait, there's four of you now? Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. This is such a huge section, I can't keep track of how many enemies there even are. Okay, at least I avoided the weird Ike or whatever that is. Ow. Where the hell did you drop? Oh, Pale Pine Resin. Okay. Ah! Darn it! Great. Now I'm dead. I'm not sure how best to fight these things. My weapons aren't great for fighting them. I mean, at least not in groups. No, you won't. Yeah. Okay, well, one at a time I can at least deal with. I thought these jerks... No Let miss. I get them out of the way, then at least that's less... Nah, screw it. Kill these things. Yeah! Your flight won't help you now! Although you won't die entirely in one volley. Okay, your flight will help you a bit. Now I've got to deal with these two. Can I deal with them by shooting them in the head? Yes, I can! Awesome! <laughs> two headshots. Alright. Are you going to be coming at me? Not with magic. I can work with that. Yeah. Got you dead to rights. Well, that wasn't too bad. Now that I know that they are, realize that they're they're a bit easier to deal with. Yeah. And you as well. I am I gonna hit you? No, you're not gonna hit me. So I'm good with not being hit. How did the? Okay. Sometimes I can hit you. Sometimes I can't hit you. And the Judicator. I want to get rid of as many of the j big Logos as I can before fighting the Judicator, because if I can do that, then I have fewer possible enemies to worry about along the way. Ew. That comes out of its butt? That's just gross. Wait, were those down? Okay, that's a small Locust. I'm worried about the big locusts. You can see their heads in the ground. It, it's There is a sign that they're there. It's not out of nowhere. But still, I want to make sure that I know where they are. Because they're in a lot of places, and they can be really annoying if you don't prepare. Okay, what have you got? Archers! Ah! I don't recall if Hidden Body works against these things. Well, none of that rage. Ow! Ah! Oh, it's Leto! Anyway, does Hidden Body working as these things? I don't remember. I... I mean, I'm assuming they're not going to hear me from that distance, but... Yes, it does! Awesome! The idea is simply being, get up close and personal, and then once I've done so, they'll be forced to summon things that are less good at dealing with me when I'm up close and personal, like the hammer dude. Ow! Like, Leto doesn't do a great job of dealing with me. 
Assuming I can, you know, not get hit the first time. But, yeah, doesn't do a great job of dealing with me. So, bah! Is there magic? Is it the magic one? No. Nothing. They're dead. For now. I should point out that it is a very much a for now. Those things don't stay dead. Oh, it's another locust. Uh, I mean, the thing is, I don't have to fight it every time I go through here, but it is still a bit of a pain in the butt. At any rate, there's more stuff to be found. And more of these monks. Ah! I... D Darn it. We have to make sure to kill in, like, one set of volleys. Right. Okay, well, we're not using that... Oh, hey! Never mind. I am using this weapon. I thought for a second I wasn't going to be able to use the daggers at all, but it turns out that I can. I can eventually break their poise with it. Oh, I wonder if I could kick them. I should try that. If I can kick them, then that would give me a bit more to work with. Hmm. I can't sort out what the heck is what. Okay, hang on. I got you now. I can just deal with this locust. Or locust preacher, rather. And that should be enough. As the thing is, there actually are more of the turtle monks a bit later on. Just slightly later on. They're just... Oh, we can't even see it from here. Never mind. I think from up this area, you can see them. I don't think there's any more up here. I just think you can see the tower there. No, never mind. They're up here. Cool. Aha. Ha Ow. Thanks a lot. Well, it's out of the way at least, but I hate these things. It's a very annoying attack, that's all. Yeah. Then there we go. Heavy, heavy, light, light also works. Eventually, I think my dexterity will be high enough that it won't be a problem. I can just deal with them. For now, it is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy, heavy light, light, done. I got the white birch bow. There was another. I thought it was a flame stone blade ringer here, up here or something. Nope! No, you don't. Not on my watch. Oh yeah, you can see the tower. It's right there. But then again, a lot of these things I just fought, so... Well, we're quite familiar with them now, aren't we? Of course, that tower is going to be a bit of a pain. I need to get through that, and then I need to deal with a bunch of the ones that are then near the tower, which means, like, four at once. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Fine. You get to heal. I get to build up my stamina. Ah, there we go. But I get to kill you now. Uh, no, I get to kill you now. I earned it. Die. Thank you. Young White Branch. Oh, yeah. We're gonna, that's going to be relevant. Probably next episode. I don't think it'll be relevant this episode. But the Young White Branches... We'll see them become very relevant very soon. Yeah! Ah! Oh, hey, I can just... Oops. I don't have to worry about any of this. Fully charged! Oh, hey! Oh, no, it's not... Fully charged doesn't quite do enough to hit only twice light. I hoped it did. It did not. But, I mean, at least it's one fully charged and then three times light, which is a bit easier. I can be sure to combo that. Unless I don't have the stamina, in which case I can't. Ow. Uh, yeah. Now I... Do I not... Where's my stamina? Oh, that attack... I think that attack drains your stamina reduction, now that I think about it. I was noticing my stamina regrowth was... Or stamina re regain wasn't anywhere near as high as it should be. Which was strange, because I... Eh. No... Okay, no, healing up. Esta screws that up. But no, that's all it was. Oh, would you stop doing that? My goodness, that's annoying. Eh. Why am I getting guaranteed this? I was getting guaranteed this before. This was working. Why am I not getting a guaranteed combo here? Where it was once guaranteed. This is very, very tiresome and time-consuming. Eh. 
There we go. Now I finally broke your voice. Oh, right, I forgot I was going to kick them. I'm going to see if kicking them did a trick. But as it stands, I finally managed to get through them, even though that fourth one was being way more difficult than it should have been. Oh, Church Guardian Shiv. That's a magic throwing knife type weapon. There's no ammo, it just uses magic. Alright, so if I do that, it's... Uses a tiny amount of magic. A neat little concept, but it doesn't really do all that much. I don't see much point in holding on to it when I got... I don't want to use too many items. Anyway, this seems like a pretty good point to end off the episode. Not the most climactic, I realize, but... I mean, there is a fight over there. I guess I could do the fight there, but... Nah, we'll make that the next episode. The next episode... Is that thing over there? That big thing with the lightning on it? It's another Dragon Slayer armor. That's what we have to look forward to for next episode. Until then, though, thanks for watching, and enjoy stuff.